Hello everyone! Aaron Nimzovich was born in Russia, although he's considered to be a Danish uh, chess master and uh, he was a well-known writer, uh, but also he was considered to be one of the strongest players in the world. Uh, from In the period of 1920s to 1930s, uh, he was considered to be the third strongest player in the world, uh, bested only by Alexander Alekhin and Jose Raul Capablanca. He even defeated uh, Alekhin a couple of times, even drew one match against him, even though it consisted only of two games, uh, but he never managed to defeat Capablanca. And uh, this game was played in 1927, uh, Aaron Nimzovic uh, with the white pieces against Systemson. Uh, except it wasn't. Uh, this game was actually composed by a very good friend of Nimzovic, uh, Mr. Hans Kmoch. Uh, because, uh, well, Nimzovic was known to be uh, somewhat of an eccentric. And uh, this one time uh, Hans, Kmoch, Hans Kmoch was directing a tournament held in Bled in 1931. And, uh, well, uh, the Queen herself was expected to arrive at the tournament with her children, and uh, Aron Nimzovic uh, walked uh, to the tournament hall only wearing a bathrobe. So he sat there in the middle of the tournament hall and he was almost naked. And uh, the, uh, Hans Kmok was outraged. Uh, he, he thought that, well, the Queen might arrive and uh, look at this Nimzovic guy here, he's just, you know, sitting naked in, 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 in the middle of the tournament hall. And uh, so he grabbed Nimzovic and uh, he kicked him out of the door. And uh, well, uh, Nimzovic considered this to be very funny. And so, <laughs> uh, so this game was probably composed as, as a way uh, for Hans Kmok to get back at Nimzovic. As uh, Nimzovic did play uh, a very famous game in 1923 called uh, the Immortal Tsukswan game. And I will show this game on my channel on some other occasion. So Hans, Hans Kmok actually published this game as if uh, Aaron Nimzovic was playing it and uh, he called it uh, the Immortal Overprotection game. So let's see this uh, game not played between Aaron Nimzovic and Systemson. <clears throat> uh, we have e4 by Nimzovic and e6, the French defense. And here Nimzovic plays h4. And he says that, well, to an untrained eye or even to a very strong player, this might seem like a weird move, but it's actually a brilliant move. Uh, so black replies d5 and here <laughs> Nimzovic says uh, well, Black replies as if this was a normal French defense, but it's not, and he plays e5. And here Nimzovic says that, well, although uh, this e5 pawn is a weak pawn, uh, the move e5 is actually a very strong move, as you'll see later in the game. So Black replies c5, and here Nimzovic again says that, well, Black is simply continuing to play as if this was a normal French defense game. So he plays d4, and uh, Nimzo says that, uh, well, this is a lot better than playing d4 on, on, on move 2 because uh, this, uh, uh, well, Black is usually allowed to play c5 to attack your d4 pawn, but now Nimzovic plays d4 to attack Black's c5 pawn. So we have c captures on d4, and now Nimzo plays a brilliant move. He, he goes h5, and he says that, well, this move will definitely decide the, the outcome of the game. Uh, we have queen to b6 by Systemson, and now h6, a very deep pawn sacrifice. We have knight captures on h6, and uh, now Nimzovic plays queen to h5. And uh, to an untrained eye, again, this would seem like a very weird move, because, uh, well, this practically invites black to play g6, which he does. He gets rid of the queen on h5, and, well, he's preparing to develop the bishop on g7 and start attacking this weak e5 pawn. But now Nimzovic says that uh, now you will see that uh, this e5 pawn is not weak at all. And uh, Nimzovic plays queen to h2. And uh, now you see that uh, this queen is protecting the e5 pawn extremely well, and uh, this e5 pawn is really cramping up black's position. So we have knight to f5, as the knight was attacked on h6. Uh, we have bishop to d3, uh, knight to c6, now attacking that e5 pawn. And now Nimzovic says, although knight f3 is a pretty standard move, uh, in this game it's, it's a brilliant move because it now adds overprotection to the e5 pawn. And he goes, knight f3. Uh, we have h5, black is ready to, to develop this bishop, and uh, this h5 move also prevents uh, white from, uh, well, infiltrating with his dark square bishop. And uh, here Nimzovic sets a brilliant trap, he plays b3. And uh, he says that, well, someone who doesn't understand chess, although Mr. Systemson is one of the greatest uh, Scandinavian players, uh, he will assume this diagonal with his bishop and, uh, well, uh, beat white to it. And he plays bishop to g7, but now Nimzo strikes with bishop to f4. And now Nimzo says he was never really planning to develop this bishop to b2, as though now he's protecting this e5 pawn three times. So we have bishop to d7, and now knight b to d2. Uh, we have rook to c8, 
And here Nimzo says that uh, Black played rook to c8 because, well, he simply doesn't have a good move in the position. And now, uh, another brilliant move by Nimzovic, we have king to e2. Uh, this is preparing rook to e1 to add even more protection to the e5 pawn. As Nimzo says, uh, he who overprotects uh, wins the game. Uh, we have knight to b4, and now <laughs> another brilliant move by Nimzovic, he plays knight to e1. Uh, we have knight captures on d3, knight captures on d3, and now rook captures on c2. And Nimzo says that capturing this pawn is a total waste of time for black, and uh, well, this uh, this c2 pawn is completely irrelevant for the rest of the game. And uh, we have rook a to e1, adding even more protection to this e5 pawn. We have a5, and now king to d1, with a, with a tempo on the rook. Uh, we have rook to c6, and now rook to e2 preparing uh, to double up on the e-file to add even more protection to the e5 pawn. We have king to e7, and uh, we have rook h to e1. Now this e5 pawn is uh, really protected. And uh, now Nimzo says, well, black black is probably starting to copy uh, Nimzovic, as now black starts uh, overprotecting his e6 pawn. Uh, but it's too late for such things. So we have rook to e8, and now knight to f3 adding even more protection to the e5 pawn. Now every piece white has is protecting the e5 pawn and this is a, a, one, a one position, says Nimzovic. Uh, we have bishop to f8 and now Nimzovic says that black is ready to play knight to g7 and well, add even more protection to his e6 pawn. And now uh, uh, bishop to g5 is, well, definitely the best move here, uh, but Nimzovic plays an even better move. He plays g4. Uh, Black responds with h captures on g4, attacking the knight, but now queen to h7 is coming. And uh, Mr. Systemson captures the knight, g captures on f3, and, well, Nimzovic ends the game with bishop to g5 checkmate. And uh, even if uh, black didn't capture this knight, if he played something like, uh, well, knight to g7 to block the queen and also to allow him to go f6, uh, then simply bishop to g5 check, f6, bishop captures on g5 which, uh, on f6 with check, king to f7, and now knight to g5 with checkmate. And, uh, well, I'm sure this was very funny, both the Mr. Hans Kmoch and, and I'm sure Nimzovic found this very amusing, uh, even though after... Uh, for example, after queen to h7, uh, if black decided to play rook e to c8, this is, well, this is completely winning for black. White doesn't really have any counterplay here. Uh, but uh, as this was a composition by his good friend Hans Kmoch, uh, the game ended in bishop to g5 with checkmate. So yeah, it's, uh, well, it's a game that never really happened, but, but it is a beautiful game. So, nice one, Mr. Hans Kmoch. And uh, like I said, I will show the uh, uh, Nimzovic is real, the Immortal Tsukswan game. Uh, and yeah, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this uh, game. And a lot of people on chess.com, you know, I, I mean on chess, uh, chessgames.com, uh, they think that this game <clears throat> actually happened. And then uh, there are a lot of comments about how this game seems pretty suspicious and that it's, you know, kind of kind of a weird game. Uh, so uh, I do want to assure you that this game never really happened and uh, it's purely for amusement. So yeah, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. As, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here and uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon. And uh, of course, uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Alan Ferns for your contribution to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank, you. thank you a lot, sir. So yeah, see you soon.